Chief. La curiosidad me mata y no siento. On our way to the salon, so. My friend is the owner of La House, Carolina, who's talking to me about that I should try brow lamination. I've never done brow lamination. I don't really get what it is, what's it for, how long it lasts, the maintenance. So we're all gonna talk about that now and see how the results look. My voice, I sound like a man. Not even close, but. They're fully grown out. They're my sexy Assyrian brows, you know. My grandpa has even thicker brows because Middle Eastern people have like really good hair. I'm actually just pulling up now to the salon and I'm a little amount of time. I don't know. So let's go see God. Perfect parking, just what I needed. It's a handicap? No. It's parking at Lock House. Hi! I made it. Hey guys, so I made it to my appointment and I'm here with Shay. She's gonna be doing my first brow lamination. What did I expect? So the brow lamination does it hurt? It doesn't hurt, it's pretty low maintenance. The only thing that you pretty much have to do is just start in the morning, so just brush up. Okay. The hairs are gonna be a lot more manageable, so they're gonna be flexible. So you can put them however you want. I didn't wear any makeup today, I don't have anything on, so everything is a blank canvas for her to work on. And I'm gonna be showing you guys up closer when she's working on them and see the final result. Soften the hairs, make them more manageable, and then the second step is gonna neutralize them, so it's gonna set the first step. Okay. And you have to do that two or three times? No, just one time. Okay. So the first step is for 15 minutes, and the second step is also for 15 minutes. So this is like a, a 30, 40 minute process. Yeah, in total an hour if you're gonna do tinting and especially since we're gonna be waxing. You're gonna wax them before? I'm gonna wax them after. So the lamination process is first and then the wax and then the tint. So Shay's starting the sem, what is it, semi? The, the step one is the perming gel. Okay, so Shay put the perm solution on my brows and she put the film over it. So now we just have to wait like 15 minutes. So the alarm clock just went off and Shay is gonna take off the the first film step. the first step. 15 minutes, the first 15 minutes and this is what it looks like. Now we're going with solution number two. This is the neutralizer. Okay, and what does that do? This is just gonna set solution number one. Be the wax one? No, the oil that we do at the end. And the oil is to hydrate? Yeah, the oil is to hydrate the brow hairs after the treatment. Oh, good, because I have dry skin. Yeah, this is a pretty drying um, treatment, so we want to make sure we bring back hydration. At the end, I'm also going to put a tea tree oil so that it can help hydrate the skin as well. And Shea also like double um, solution the front of my hairs where it's like rough where they go like in different directions to make sure they all flatten out. So I'm excited to see how that comes on. And then she usually recommends, she usually tints her clients' brows, but with me, it's not really um, recommended because I already have dark hairs. So we're leaving that part out and now we're covering them up with film again and waiting, what, another 15? Another 15. Okay. I feel like un pollo when you wrap it to marinate. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly uh, what we're doing. We're marinating. marinating. Rub, rub it up. Rub, 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 rub it up. <laughs> Dear diary, day two, rubbing meat. <laughs> 30 minutes 30 at minutes. room temperature. At room temperature, keep rubbing the meat for 30 minutes. <laughs> at that point, if nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. You realize that pretty much you've been dead for a few days. <laughs> Wow! You just comb them up? 
So I don't you do like it. Yeah, so it's gonna help maintain the shape. I don't necessarily comb them up. I kind of do it at an angle so they don't look like straight up. Okay. It pretty much follow the natural shape of your brow because you already have a really good shape. Okay. So this is just gonna help me see where I'm gonna work. I just want you to see the shape that I'll be everything that I'll be taking off with the wax. Okay. Wow, but they look super good. Yeah. You have awesome girls. Oh my god! Oh, I am beautiful. Boys will love me. She fixed this um like remolino that I always have. Mm -hmm. Like they grow in different in different areas. And it looks like perfect. I love it! Oh yeah, it's gonna look amazing when you wax it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna brush them down just okay. to make sure that I get the surrounding hairs. They're more manageable, so now they're gonna stay however I brush them. So if Wild! I brush them, if I brush them all the way up, they're gonna stay like that. If I brush them... Now I have a question. Mm -hmm. You know those hairs in the beginning of my brow, how they uh -huh. like are weird? Yeah. So like with time, can, will they always be like that? Or if you laminate them like... Yeah, so sometimes the more you laminate... It, they might start molds, growing that way. It molds your hair. It makes them more flexible, Yeah, right? I started thinking about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So just like when you do like a keratin on your hair or like... Any perming after a while, your your hair molds to it. Wow, I can't believe it. I I can't believe it. Never seen my the beginning of my brow look mm -hmm. like that. Now you guys, she's waxing my brow, but it doesn't hurt because I'm used to being threaded. I I always get them threaded, so that's like even more painful than waxing. But the whole process has been you don't feel pain. details I'll be having a facial treatment done and I'll see you at the end before we put the oil on so we will see in the mirror oh my god they look so clean look how clean is that my, they look even longer it looks painted oh my god my edges of the brows on there look like that sharp that looks so good it looks like I don't even have to do my brows when I do my makeup. Like I can just leave it like that. I just took 30 minutes out of your day. Out of my makeup process. Put the oil and it's just gonna have like a shiny effect to it. Okay fam, so this is the final outcome of my first time getting my brows laminated by Shay. You guys have to come. I was not expecting this. I didn't have any expectations, but I didn't know how it was gonna come out since I've never done that. But Shay has made my brows perfect. So now when I do my makeup, I don't even have to do my brows. I can just leave them like that. 
and this is all my hair. This is not painted. This is how my actual brows look without touching them. So now I'm just perfect. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> so the after care is pretty simple. The only thing that you have to avoid for the first time I wouldn't work out on the same day either. Yeah. No workout, no sweating, no running out of water. And then it lasts for how long? It lasts six to eight weeks. Okay. I recommend waiting the eight weeks so to make sure that the perm is completely out of the hair so that when we come to it, we're not over processing or damaging the hair from it. And I don't really have to do much. The only thing is to brush them and style them in the mornings. Since this makes the hairs a lot more flexible, and they will be moving around. So you want to make sure that in the morning you have to wear it, you brush them up, and you're going to be good to go. I do recommend you use castor oil or any oil that's hydrating to put it on every single day to make sure that you're going to stay hydrated. After the procedure, I do add an argan oil to keep for 24 hours, and then after that, you can put the oil. You should wait 24 hours as well to put any makeup or any intense skincare, retinol, or any exfoliating skincare because it will affect the brow. If you go to different brow ladies, you don't know the formulas that they may use, but shades, formula is organic, right? Yeah, so I use cruelty free organic products. Okay. Um, just do your research whenever you do this. So this is with somebody new, this is a very yeah. intense treatment. Because some so formulas make, are harsh. Yeah, some of them are harsher than others. You just want to make sure that you're safe whenever you're doing this procedure. I do want to give um, them a little bit of a discount. So for the entire summer, we are having a sale on the brow laminations. They're $85. The wax, tint, and the lamination is all included. Originally, it's 125 so it is a huge sale. Wow, so for the summer, you guys, if you're in Miami, come to Lockout and the tint, the wax, and the brow lamination all included for $85. You can follow the Lockout's brow page is Brows XS. Just set up an appointment with Shay. She will take care of you. I have such a great experience. She's super professional. She knows what she's doing. She's had five years in the industry and she's a brow expert. <laughs> so I've always gone to the same brow lady to get them thread and I hadn't gone for a while so it was a perfect opportunity to come because my brows were already full at its natural state they weren't shaped at all so she had like a whole starting from zero ground zero never had someone do my brows in years and it, I look like a different person so I definitely suggest you guys come try her out don't be scared and you never know how it's gonna come out amazing <laughs>